So I think the current show, Titans, is actually pretty good. But you know who can make it better? Deathstroke. Terra. Judas Contract. Wally. No, the Red Hood. Now, like I established in my previous video, go watch it, please. Titans does way better with extra team members or external forces to drive the plot forward. Everyone liked Jason, right? Well, I did, and I do, but, you know, there is a better identity for Jason. I mean, we all know who it is. Who is the better version of Jason? It's the Red Hood. Context, so I recently read a comic book called Red Hood and the Outlaws, and it's really good because it explains Jason Todd. He drinks and does bad things because he sees it in his father and his parents. This is explained through Jason Todd and his way and his methods in the story called Under the Red Hood. So personally, that's what I would do for a season one of the show. I think that Under the Red Hood could be a great season. I think it could be really cool and interesting. I think that Jason could really show a, a new side to the character and to the DC universe that we haven't seen. It'd be due to like kind of the super criminal mob boss type thing. I think that'd be really cool. I think that Jason Todd needs a show to really flesh his character out in this new universe that they're creating. And I think that it could be very unique and cool. And I would really like it. I think that he would show a lot in this Under the Red Hood storyline. And I think you could bring in all the characters from the original comic books, such as Joker and Batman and Black Mask. And I know you would just have Batman, but you would have him just for a season. You'd only have Batman for one season, and then I'll show you what we're doing for season two. But first, I'm going to talk about the villains of season one. You could do Black Mask would be the main villain. Black Mask is the main villain of the comic book in the comics. He's the main villain of, of the Under the Red Hood storyline. He's running a crime ring, and Jason's trying to shut it down so he can become the king of crime in Gotham and rule over and basically get his revenge on, on Bruce Wayne. And so essentially, he wants to kill the Joker as well. So I think that if you do the right, if you do the right thing here and you make the Joker, and you make Black Mask, and you make all these characters super interesting and cool, and you give them all good motives, and you give Jason a really unique story, I think that'd be very cool, and I think we haven't actually seen, like, Jason's Todd, Jason Todd's look out on how, how the results of Under the Red Hood happened, and I think that could be very cool, and I think seeing it through his eyes would be a very unique and thing that we haven't even seen in the comic books, so I really think that that could be a cool thing, but you know what we need? We need a really cool show. And it's kind of the opposite of Titans, but not completely, because they're kind of at this point right now. But you know what we could do? We could make a show called Red Hood and the Outlaws. So, I feel like in Season 1 of Titans, what they wanted to do was make a Dick Grayson show, and then kind of have the Titans in, like, Season 2. But, you know what we could do with our Jason Todd Red Hood show? We could just call Season 1 Under the Red Hood. Call Season 2 The Outlaws. So it would just be Red Hood and the Outlaws. Welcome to The Outlaws. Alright, so first I'm going to bring in Arsenal. I think at the end of season one, you have Arsenal come to Jason, and you he's like, we have a mission, we have to go hunt this guy down, his name's Sportsmaster in San Francisco. And so they go on a seafaring mission to San Francisco, where they go on a road trip first all across the country. They fight some, so they fight some villains in the first few episodes, and you get a really cool relationship between Speedy and Red Era, or Red Hood. And I think it'd be very cool. I think Red Hood and Speedy. Red Hood and Arsenal are very cool characters, and I think they have a great relationship in the comics that could be very well thought out and very cool. I think that then from there, you could bring in other characters such as Artemis from the comic book Under the Red Hood. I think that bringing in Starfire from the original Under the Red Hood team, or the original Outlaws team, would not be the right pick. I think that she wouldn't be as cool. I think that that would not be the pick I would make. But you know, if you wanted to bring Starfire from Titans to this show, I mean, she would not not fit. I think that'd be also pretty cool. But the whole the whole thing in season two is what I would do. Is I would bring in... Uh, the, their, the team is made of Red Hood, Arsenal, and Artemis. Or Requiem, as I like to see the Earth-27 per person as Requiem. But Artemis, Artemis comes... Or Red... Arsenal comes to the group. And he's like, okay, guys. He goes to Red Hood and he's like, okay. There's this dude who's running crime in San Francisco, and there's this huge operation that's going down. He's trying to control all of crime and on the East Coast. And so Jason's like, oh, okay, let's stop him, because now Jason wants to be a hero, because he wants to prove that he can do good. He can be like Batman. He can do whatever. He, he can do anything he, that Batman can. And he wants to prove that he can do good, and he wants to prove that he can kind of have this own Justice League, this own Teen Titans. And although they're kind of like a dirty, more nasty, more grungy version of the Titans, they're still the Titans, and he wants to be this cool figure. And of course, this this will happen in like season four of Titans, 
but here we go. Let's talk about the villains. Villains, I'm going to do Sportsmaster as the main villain of Season 2. Most likely, base him off hardly off of Zion Justice, where he's actually a serious character and not a joke. I think it could be very cool. I think you could bring in Cheshire as a love interest for Roy. I think Artemis could be the run of interest for Jason Todd, of course. I think that they've done this relationship very cool, and I think you could basically base off the whole season off of Young Justice Season 1 with Artemis' storyline. The Artemis Croc, of course. The Artemis, the Amazon. Artemis and the Amazon would be in the show. I think we could name her something else, but we would keep the Artemis Croc storyline. So we'd have we'd have Artemis Croc maybe be like this person they they save, and then they have to go and then basically the whole time they're getting captured and they're getting taken out by these evil people, being Cheshire and Sportsmaster because they need Artemis to complete the crime family within like the east, the West Coast. And basically where I'm going here with this is like West Coast Titans. And the Titans on in Detroit being like Dick Grayson's group is Titans East. And so we have or and so the at the end of the season, the team is Artemis, Artemis Croc, or Arrowette, um, Artemis Requiem, Red Hood, and Arsenal. And I think they could make a very cool show. I think it'd be very unique, and I think you could bring a lot of new heroes in. I think you could actually bring over Starfire eventually. I think you could bring in Bizarro. I think you could bring in Creeper. I think you could bring in all these characters from the original comic book. That would be very cool. And I'd be very excited to see what they could do with this. And I think that bringing in a show and having this and doing doing the whole Red Hood arc would be very good. And I think that it would very shed light on a lot of issues within Red Hood's character. And not like the issues like that about his character, but issues like that he has and issues that could be bring brought to light. I think that it would be very cool. All right, thank you. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Though you've been welcomed to the office, and now I'm just.